Well, look who's in her car again. <laughs> no cigarette. That's gross. Maybe I shouldn't do that on camera so much. Oh, these glasses are filthy. The reason I'm popping back on really quick is that um, I just now, just now, got a text from Rachel Profoloski, the, um, the producer of the documentary series I took part in several months ago, if you all remember, about the cult I was raised in called The Work. Um, I realized I didn't give a proper preface to that on here. Um, it's a little bit too triggering for me, but if anybody cares to watch it or if you have this channel or access to it, it's put out by People Magazine Investigates for the Discovery ID channel. I believe on cable it just looks like ID, but it might say Discovery ID. I know I have it, and I have the most basic cable package you can imagine. So I guess I won't be canceling it now because I want to see the show I'm in, although I'm sure I'll be cringing the whole damn time. Um, I was really in a very dissociated daze when, I was, when they were filming me, believe me. Never done anything like that in my life. But my truth needed to be said. My story needed to be shared. Um, they really just scratched the surface, actually. But So, yeah, June 24th, it will be on the Discovery ID Network. And it's called People Investigates Cults, the new series. Um, I think it's like a part two because they had a series last year. Um, Tony Alamo and Jehovah's Witnesses and um, some group out there in, I think, Africa. But anyway, I hope some of you are able to watch it and can see it and get a little more glimpse into how and why I turned out the way I have in life. Um, having had my whole identity stripped away as a kid from the age of five to when I escaped it at 26 with my daughter. So I wanted to let you guys be like the first to know besides my, my uh, small regular family and my Facebook friends. Okay, thanks for listening. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.